Good morning, everybody. Another beautiful day. Sunny so far. Apparently, we got a storm rolling in. We're going to get, uh, I don't know, potentially a pile of rain. I don't know if it'll actually happen or not. But, uh, today on the menu, we got a bathroom to build here. Right now, it's uh, three walls, stud frame. I'm going to drywall that, install a tub, install a vanity on this side, and a composting toilet over there, plus linoleum flooring. And I hope to have it all done by the end of the day. All right, making progress. Not filming everything because I can't hold on to the camera and work. Looks my screen's dirty again. There, wipe you off. So that's our bathroom. I got uh, two walls drywalled there. We've got a tub in, stalled, and flooring down. I did that first, the flooring, because I wanted underneath. Oop, hand the other way. I wanted underneath the tub. And uh, that way you get a good seal and less chance of water damage. This other side, this is a leftover piece from one of the jobs we've done in previous home. Uh, this other piece here, the vanity will sit over top and then our composting toilet sits over it on the, on the far side there. So that happened to be that big and that works out perfectly. And we'll throw a closet in here yet for towels. Hi mama. We're just finishing coffee break here. Um, yeah, coming good. We'll try to get the rest of this done, but I do have to leave here. Now we're going to process some apples. The Amish, uh, it's nice getting to know them. The more, more we know them, the better, I guess. But they just called yesterday, one of them, and they knew that we had picked up all these apples. Uh, I must have mentioned that while we were while I was uh, bringing them down south. So they called yesterday wondering if we wanted to use their apple press for juice. You can do 20 bushels in an hour, I was told. That's an uh, enormous amount of apple juice. So we have 20 bushels of apples here. We're going to try to do 10 bushels today. And uh, we'll keep the rest for applesauce and whatever else she's got planned. So I'm going to head out for that for now. And then we'll get back to this job here this afternoon after we're done pressing apples. right now. Like a big old cookie. I wouldn't mind, yeah, if we could put it in a pail. Or do you think it'll go in that? There you go, 
watch it. Very cool. Yeah. Still plugging away here. We uh, didn't get quite as far as I'd hoped, but we are framing more walls. So the goal here is that the living room, dining room, and kitchen will be walled off from the rest of the house, and uh, thereby we'll be able to heat this a lot easier and once it warms up, we can open the other doors, basically, for now. And our goal is to use the office as a temporary bedroom, and we'll continue working on it then uh, and getting ourselves more space. So the office here, uh, you can see I framed this hole, looks like a big window in the office. That is a door, a glass door, a French door that I've cut down. It's going to fit in this hole. And we wanted that in here so I can close it if we need quiet time in there, if the kids are studying or I'm studying or whatever reason, we've got a phone call or something. And we can open it up uh, the rest of the time. So you can still communicate with everybody else. Anissa can still give instructions to the kids if they're doing their homework, that kind of thing. And also to be able to see. Again, we have our off-grid. We're not planning on running a whole lot of lights and a lot of different things like that. And by having this hole in here, we can then easily see out the windows. All right, so if I look around, now I'm in the office and you can clearly see out all these windows, you gain a lot of light. Over here, we're just putting a doorway in. So Wes and I are framing that right now. And on the other side, I don't have any two by six right now. so. I'll have to wait with the other side of the office. But we can go ahead and drywall these walls on the inside. On this side, we haven't decided what we want to do yet. So we're not going to drywall anything. Uh, for one, we need to get our framing inspection yet. So I can't really cover any of this up and insulation. Uh, but for another, we're not sure. We're thinking maybe going, going wood in here. Um, not totally sure yet. So we're going to leave it for the moment. I am going to cover it up with Tyvek just to... Uh, Tyvek is the house wrap that I have on the outside. I'm going to use the back side of it so it's all one color. We don't have uh, names or nothing on it. And put that all over top of this for now just to get it sealed off. And uh, it gives it a kind of a dark, dark look there. And that way if we put pine boards or something on it, the gaps between the boards would be, uh, would be dark. You can't see through it. Um, give it a bit more privacy that way too. You're not peeking through walls. The bathroom here, pretty dark in there, but you can see we've started mudding. I might be able to get in and show you that way, but we've got the tub installed. I gotta go above here yet. Again, there too, we're undecided whether or not we want to uh, put a cupboard up there or not. We haven't really quite decided. It seems like a waste of all that space. So we, normally speaking, we just frame that in. But it does seem kind of wasteful and we thought maybe we could use it for storage or something, I don't know. Ceilings we also haven't done because we're also not sure what exactly we want to do there. We didn't really want to drywall this time. So we're thinking about using pine boards for that as well. Um, but not totally decided. Anyway, the bathtub is in and shower. Got this used off a fella. Um, 
that didn't need it. I guess he bought it for his home and uh, it didn't fit. He couldn't fit it down the hallway. He bought it used, so he sold it to us used. Beautiful shape, mint shape. So other than that, it's just a bathroom. We're gonna put a vanity in here and a composting toilet that's going in the corner here. We've got our flooring down, leftover piece. Fits perfectly in here. And we'll have a cupboard here for, well, that light is bright here, for um, towels and such in the corner in here. And then planning on a door here with a sliding barn door going in this way. But in the hallway, we haven't done anything with yet. The pantry, we've got uh, most of that drywall on the inside. We've got one piece to put in here yet. You can see the rest is done. And this is going to be a pocket door. I love pocket doors. They don't take up wall space. So the door sits inside of here on this track and it just rolls down through. Um, I like them because you don't have to worry about where this door is going to open into. You have full wall space available and the door just slips down through. So it's great. The other side, I got to get one in there yet as well. They didn't have any, have any more. Um, I'm building my own there. This was a kit on this side. The other side, I'm going to be building it because it's a thicker wall and uh, they didn't have any more tracks. So now you can see it's a whole lot darker in here, which is much better for the preserves. Uh, less sunlight and then also we need to get it closed off so we don't get all the heat in here we don't want this room cooking hot we want it to stay nice and cool everything will last a lot longer there's a pile of apples down here you can just kind of make out some and they're gonna just stay good better in a cool environment so we'll finish sealing this off and then all these gaps will insulate all that shut uh, but yeah loads of progress it's coming we're gonna well it's nice and warm in here today it's beautiful we're going to be um, moving in here shortly, even though it ain't all done. Oh, and this kitchen countertop I'm going to build. I got a whole bunch of tile from a fella. Traded him um, some meat, as well as we paid some cash, I guess, on top of it. He was moving, and he is a professional tile layer. Super nice guy. And uh, we basically bought out whatever he didn't need or didn't want to take with him. So I got a lot of mixed match stuff, but there's also quite a quantity of, of uh, the same types that we can use. We thought about using tile then for this countertop, but just before I was done with him, he also said, oh, I got all this maple flooring, beautiful maple flooring. And I um, thought about using actually that as the countertop now is what the plan is. Might change, but that's the plan. And uh, dropping the sink in that, and then we'll urethane the top of it. It'll be a beautiful countertop. And it's solid maple, so in years time, you know, a couple of years or whatever, if we uh, if we end up, you know, getting knife cuts in there, you can sand it down again. It's, it's solid. It's not a veneer. So, you know, it's three-quarter inch thick. You got lots of life in it. But, yeah, super exciting. See it from this angle, too. It's kind of taking shape as we get rooms and stuff built in here. And Cora's hard at her. What are you doing, kiddo? Laundry. Laundry. That needs to get done, too, eh? Yeah. Piles of that stuff. And what are you up to, Wes? Building. Building stuff? And Waylon's playing on the ground over there. He was building stuff too. That and he just got me this firewood. Left it in the middle of the floor though. Are you going to put that away, bud? Are you going to put that firewood away? The stuff you left on the middle of the floor. You put it with the other stuff. We got ourselves a fan on the wood stove. I don't know if you can see it or not. Yeah, right there. That thing is the coolest thing ever. It just runs on heat. Heat from the wood stove makes it spin. Love it. And it just blows the heat through the house. So, really great. Anyways, work doesn't do itself. <laughs>